Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yeah, this actually is the same video, or I should say the same day as my first video that I released. And yeah, it's just been a really, really, really long day for me. So, going at you with Exodus chapter 33, verse 7. Moses took his tent and pitched it outside the camp, far from the camp, and called it the Tabernacle of Meeting. And it came to pass that everyone who sought the Lord went out to the tabernacle of meeting, which was outside the camp. Now, the reason I find this interesting and I think very important and relevant to our everyday lives, now God's everywhere, right? He is omnipresent. So that means he is present literally everywhere. There's nowhere in this physical universe or the spiritual universe, if you happen to traverse that, <laughs> where you can be where he is not. He is always there. He is always present. He is always by your side. Um, it's almost it's it's kind of interesting. Like even if you don't believe in God, doesn't matter. He's still there. Even if you try to leave or forsake him, he won't leave or forsake you. I would almost say that he can't. He's there. But there is something special when you devote your time to seeking him, to pursuing him, when you want him, and a lot of the times to find him in the most intimate settings, um, in a place where his manifest presence would be found. That would be a place outside of the camp. And I won't say outside of the church. A lot of good experiences, um, one particularly good experience that I've had, and several other good experiences that um, like my best friend, my pastor, and several other people that I know um, have had, have been in church settings, specifically camp settings. I would add. I would add to that addition those camp settings were outside of the normal church. They were camps. They were like, you know, one week things, whether it be a youth camp, a family camp, a summer camp, um, a kids camp, you know, what have you. It was something outside of the normal rigmarole, the daily grind of the daily life. And it was also something outside of the normal church, the Sunday to Sunday experience that we all have. It was something other. It was something outside the camp. It was something outside of the daily life, outside of what you're used to. And I think, I, I could be completely wrong on this, guys, but I would go so far as to say in almost every single instance, for anyone who's really pursuing God in their life, there's going to come a time when you're going to go have to, you're going to have to go outside the camp to really pursue God. There's a difference between, you know, just knowing him, just being a Christian, and really pursuing him and wanting to hear his voice, wanting to be where he is at, wanting to have his heart. There's just a difference between the normal day-to-day -day and then the seeking him with everything, going to the place where he is. Yes, he is everywhere at this same time. His manifest presence, a place where, quite literally, his presence, his spirit, he himself is manifested, a place where he is moving, he is working, where you can sense his presence, where you're hearing his voice, where you know he's there. You know that's where you belong. You know that's where you're called. There comes a time when God will call you outside of the camp, I think, again, I would say this is like almost every single believer, if not every believer, if you're really going to pursue God and you really want Him with all of your heart, there's going to come a time when you're going to have to go outside the camp that it's far away from the norm. It can be scary, uh, but it's a place that we've got to go if we really want to pursue Him, and it's, uh, it's a place that I'm looking at right now. More on that soon. Stay tuned, and thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was encouraging. I love you guys. God bless.